it's increased from um, two in 2009-10 to 250 by the end of this year, we think, and 1,000 by the end of next year. It demonstrates proven quality, which most people buying houses in the UK have realised they don't get from major house builders. But people are starting to realise exactly what Passive House can deliver to them as building users. The energy prices have been soaring, so it just makes common sense to, to utilise something like Passive House Standard to give us low energy buildings. In natural ventilation, natural light, people can be 18% more productive. So for us and the companies that will be residents in our centre, that's a really important factor for us. They're seeing the profits of the energy savings and also the profits of the higher comfort and they're realising that's something that they would also like to have for themselves. Are you getting a wider confidence in the industry about how they can actually take, take this forward? I think that, that, that's really important. It is the sensible option for all housing. It's almost a question of why not? It's a no-brainer, really. A small allocation of grant to uh, achieve passive house would, be, would make a massive difference, I think. Sometimes you have to bribe people rather than actually explain to them. You have to appeal to their wallet, not to their heads. People are quite focused on you know, um, financial payback, which, which is one thing, don't get me wrong, but nobody communicates very, very well uh, it, you know, the additional comfort and health benefit. I think there needs to be greater communication and awareness around the uh, benefits and the merits of passive house building. It would be ideal if we could take people out to existing projects and they can basically see the benefits that are there. It's about conferencing, it's about networking, the thing about Passive House, it is beyond just commerce, it is about passion and knowledge sharing.